So 125 kilometers and something like 300 turns later, we have made it to Ta Pai Hot Springs. We're just outside of Pai. We decided to stop here on the way so we can have a soak before heading into town. Good morning from Thailand. So we arrived here late last night and today we have an adventure plan. We've come back for Songkran. It's a Thai New Year. Which actually officially starts in two days, I think. Yeah. So first of all, we have decided to hire some bikes, our favourite Scoopies, and we are heading... We're heading north to Pai. Quite go to plan this morning in Chiang Mai with the bikes. We got about 10 yards before we got pulled over by the police. They fined us 500 baht each for not having an international driving license. I'm not sure if it's a scam or if it's real, but see, I think it is. I think it's legit. There it... was an Australian police officer who basically just said your license isn't valid here. And it's pretty stupid because the international driving permit is just. A joke, English. really. It's just a piece of card <laughs> that that has your name on it, and uh, it's you know nothing like your actual private. So license, we paid but... 500 baht each, and we have a little bit of paper, which apparently will mean that we don't get any more fines for the next three days. And we did pass. I don't know if you noticed this. We did pass another couple of checkpoints, so that's probably going to happen anyway in the next two days. Yeah. It was pretty busy driving out of town, but we're now really busy. Right, the busiest on this trip that we've done in the city anyway in like three lanes of traffic and a yeah. little but bit sketchy. We've made it out and we've just stopped for some lunch. Having had a bucket of water thrown over us. Oh yeah the Songkran festivities have obviously started early up here. And I feel like I might be getting slightly sunburnt so a bucket of water over us was actually very welcome. <laughs> very refreshing. We have been on the road about five hours. My backside is really <laughs> telling me that we've been on the road for that long. Actually, the ride is gorgeous. And uh, once you're off of like the main road north of Chiang Mai onto the road that comes out to Pai, it's, uh, it's actually really nice tarmac and it's really like undulating and windy and ups and downs. It's really great fun to ride. So 125 kilometers and something like 300 turns later, we have made it to Ta Pai Hot Springs. We're just outside of Pai, we decided to stop here on the way so we can have a soak before heading into town. It's really nice to just relax in the hot springs. Uh, pretty quiet. They were much hotter than the sign said though, tested with the dive computer. But it was really nice. And there's noises from these insects and uh, I think some monkeys up in the trees. It's a really nice spot. But it's getting dark and I'm getting hungry. So time to head to our accommodation. Looking trendy. <laughs> So 
so it has just got dark, but we have made it to our accommodation just in time. There's huge mosquitoes out in force, and we forgot to bring any insect repellent. <laughs> and then we will probably pick this up again tomorrow morning. So we will see you then. So today we're heading away from Pi. It was a very quick stop. Just a brief visit. But it was more about the journey up here. I think so most people come to Pi just to chill out. We're not really chilling out people, so we decided to make it into a bit more of an adventure instead. Yeah, so first thing is we're going to pop into town, get some breakfast, and then we will start winding our way back into the hills looking for any of the brown park signs. Waterfalls. <laughs> One of the dishes that northern Thailand is famous for is cow soy. We had this in Lao, but we haven't actually had it in Thailand yet. So I decided to order it for my breakfast. And I have pork, some crispy noodles, some soft noodles in what looks like a really nice broth. That is incredibly fragrant. It's got coconut milk, chili. Mm. This is so nice. Can you pick out anything else other than coconut milk and chili? I totally lucked out of my Asian breakfast this morning. Alex went western and was really disappointed with his eggs. Now we're going to head on our bike and hopefully make it to Chiang Mai. So I got all excited about the uh, Mem World War II Memorial Bridge here. I thought it was going to be one that was featured in some of the famous stories. Uh, I was wrong, but it's still cool to see like such an old bridge and it does have some history dating back to World War II uh, where the Japanese army were using it to try and cross towards Burma where, which at the time was a British colony. Um, since then it's been destroyed, rebuilt a couple of times. Uh, so it's been preserved alongside the normal road bridge. So we made it to Mokfar Waterfall which is on our way back. We saw the sign on the way up here. We didn't have time to stop. So we thought we'd put it on the way home. It was fun playing in the waterfall, but it's getting quite late in the day and we still have a long way to go. So we are back on the road and heading back to Chiang Mai.
So we have made it to our guest house. Absolutely soaking wet. I didn't think it was supposed to start until tomorrow and it is mental outside. It is crazy. I, we had the GoPro. I don't know if we've got any footage from it, but the streets are just lined with people throwing buckets right over our head. Yeah, entire bucket, super soakers in the face. It was pretty tough to ride the last we, bit. We have waterproof covers on our backpacks, but the water was going down between our back and into the bag, so everything is absolutely drenched. But Hopefully most of our gear survives. <laughs> yeah, I would hope so. And we haven't really explained what Songkran is. Songkran is Thai New Year, and uh, it originates with the, uh, like, a Buddhist blessing and it's turned into kind of a water festival. It started off with sprinkling a bit of water and now it's started to people turn would into then pour in buckets. They would have that done by their their local monk and then in the absence of the monk they would soak each other and then it's got really out of hand now. <laughs> in a fun way. <laughs> which is why we came. We want to go out for dinner but we don't think it stops. So everything we own is already wet. It just... looks like we'll be putting wet clothes on <laughs> to go out for dinner. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to call it a day there. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Of like the main road north of Thailand onto the oh, north of Chiang Mai.